the head is crying, which is an abnormal situation. But the head cries for a reason and for a purpose. That purpose is when things are not done in the right way, the head will cry. Obiajulu Anene hails from Obuanyocha in Obaru local government area of Anambra state of Nigeria. He taught as an auxiliary teacher between 1980 and 1983 before proceeding to St. Charles Borromeo Teachers College, Onicha, in 1984. He joined the Nigerian Mirror newspaper in 1989 and worked as a reporter, staff writer and a correspondent before leaving in 1992 for Times Journalism Institute, Lagos. Obi Ajulu's experience in the communication industry spans over a period of 15 years during which he worked as a reporter, senior correspondent, coordinator, special project and associate editor of some Nigerian and international journal. He was appointed editor of Time Staff, a household journal of Daily Times of Nigeria in 1993. Obi Ajulu is also the author of the master key, In Search of Idea, Crying Ed, Divine Voice, Seraphic Tune, White Land in Nigeria, as well as contributing editor of the Crossroads, Autology, in the memory of late poet Christopher Okibo. Obi Ajulu is a member of NAEC, an association of energy writers, editors, and commentators on trend and development in energy sector. He has held position as a research editor in the fame of Uchemokedi and Co. and presently work for Clarence Shipping West African Limited as a public relations officer and personal assistant to the vice president. He is married to Uche Chugu and they are blessed with four children, David, Samuel, Princess and King. We are all gathered here because our brother has written four books. The first one is Crying Earth. The second one is In Search of Ideal. The third, the master's key, and the fourth one is divine forces. The purpose of the book for publication that we are here to present today, Crying X, In Search of Ideal, the master key, and divine forces, have been to draw attention to the defects that characterize the handling of our environment and the society by extension, the sharing of our national resources, the governance of the people, and lastly, to propose solutions to the numerous challenges daily confronting us as a people. This Herculean task I want to take in being fully aware of the fact of history that subjects an actor to the scrutiny of historians many years and even decades 
after his exit. My humble wish and desire, therefore, is to add value to the lives of my country men through the solutions I've offered, provide in the four publications and which I sincerely believe may assist our collective efforts towards building a peaceful, healthy, and more progressive nation so that history, the soul in Pashal Abita, in the affairs of all men, may have judged my modest contributions now I'm still alive, or perhaps at my exit as worthy, not unworthy, and my life noble, exemplary, and emulative. Climate in summary highlights the danger inherent in our continued non-challenge attitude towards the degradation of our environment. It is also intended to generate debate among our policy makers with a view to make the government see reason or reasons why they must chart a new and progressive roadmap towards the resolution of the problems identified, as well as to ensure the revocation of all policies replaced with fundamental loopholes and illogicalities. Some of the poems in the publication like Nigeria in brief, we are is long, Delta ones, and give us a king now. We are ready to restate the true facts of life of the Nigerian citizenry. They are also an attempt to show the alternative behavior of conducts and of patterns prepared to what is presently generally obtained. Crying Earth, therefore, proposes the discarding of all policies that do not bring total cure and their replacement with pragmatic alternative measures which will enhance quality life for the majority. In search of ideal, the second book is an attempt to bring to the fore the unwarranted disabilities being suffered by the government, the masses and less privileged members of our society. The book further queries why local communities should not keep or benefit from the social and economic supports derived from their area, and why management of the national economy should be lopsided and not equitable for the mutual benefit of the citizenry. The ideal canvases for immediate social, economic, and political re-engineering while also compelling the governors to take a second look at the social economic policies were variously experimented without positive results. Some of the poems in this anthology, like the ideal, the rock by generation, the sense, Nigeria awake, the diary of waste, the magic year, and the future of a dream, were inspired for the benefits of both the government and the governors of our land. The master key and divine forces offer spiritual solutions to the entire problems facing the human race as the author itself believes that the reason we are born is not to suffer, but to reign. Master Key specifically considers prayer from the point of views of science and philosophy, and as well, show us how we can start, no matter what they call our way. The author is concerned that the believer, due to lack of knowledge and realization of the power invested in him by God, suffers unwarranted incarceration when God designed that we can actually take absolute control of everything just by praying a right. In the words of Dr. Copeland, if prayer is anything, it is everything. If it is the truth, it is the greatest truth. The Bible verse is simply put, is an assurance that even in the teeth of strongest oppositions, we could overcome and still find joy by just saying praises. This is so when we cast our minds back to the days of Apostles Paul and Silas, who had employed the singing alternative to, the, to obtain their freedom from jail. As we read in the scriptures, the duo fasted and prayed, but only secured their release when they sang and then prayed. All the four politicians are designed to aid the administration of the citizenry 
and the resources bestowed on our land and are therefore recommended for use by pupils in primary schools and for students in both secondary and tertiary institutions, as well as for teachers, lecturers, preachers, administrators, militants of the world. I join you all here to procure copies of this publication, as I believe lessons you will learn from them will definitely impact positively on your whole life and entire business. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and all of you for the time and attention.